what's up? It's Lucas, and in today's episode, I wanna answer one very common question, and that is, how do I stand out? How do I get noticed? Or it's it's C to the question is, how do I differentiate myself from everyone else, from all the other coaches, from all the other offers, from all the other programs, from all the other content? How can I separate myself from the crowd so I could be seen as an expert, as an authority, as someone that people want to work with, as the number one, as the best, and all this other stuff? I'm going to talk about three concepts or three things that you can apply, not even concepts, applicable, like things, action steps that you can take right now to make sure you differentiate yourself. But before I do, I've got a word of warning. The second you start standing out, the second you truly take action on differentiating yourself, the second you start getting attention, which is what everyone says they want, but when I tell them how to do it or what to do, they don't do it because subconsciously, they're afraid of what people are gonna think. It takes courage to stand out. It takes courage to put yourself out there Everybody says they want it. I love more attention. I love to be known. I love to get into publications. I love to be a number 10 podcast. I love to get on big podcasts. They say it, but their subconscious belief doesn't let them take consistent action on it or they shy away. So I want to A, two things. One, let you know it takes courage. Courage is not the absence of fear. Courage does not mean fearlessness. That's not courage, that's like stupidity. Courage, true courage is I feel the fear. This is terrifying. This hurts, but I'm gonna walk into it anyway. And I'm gonna do it over and over and over. So A, if you can commit to that, it's gonna be scary. But if you can commit to that, you're gonna win the game. Two is your level of self-worth is so damn important. If you really want people to listen to you, if you really want to get that attention, if you really want to work with those clients, if you really want to get paid what you're worth, how you see yourself is how others are going to see you. Now, we can talk about beliefs for the next three hours because I love that topic, but we really need to dive in what are some of the narratives and the beliefs that are playing that are forcing us to stay small. It is not difficult to play big. It's not difficult to be seen as big. It's not even difficult to be seen as an expert, as an authority. A lot of people are making it, and a lot of coaches are making it harder than it has to be, but there's a lot of internal work that as we work through it, this is something I do with clients all the time because this is, this makes exponential growth. This, this is like the big moments of impact. This is the big breakthroughs, which is why I launched the Breakthrough Coaching Program, but this is the stuff that matters. Now, if you can consistently work on that, the next three steps I'm gonna let you know or, or fill you in on or, or, or give to you will not be difficult to take action on, and especially if you're consistent with it, you'll do great. Now, maybe one last little tip is if you look at what everyone else is doing, it leaves clues as to what you should do. Modeling is one thing, copying is a whole other thing. I'm all for modeling. I would not be here if I didn't model successful people that came before me, coaches, mentors, a lot of the guests on the podcast, I've modeled their strategies and the stuff they do. Modeling is beautiful. Copying will, you'll always be in someone's shadow. I see a lot of coaches copy. I see a lot of marketers copy. Big difference between modeling and copying. This episode, I won't be telling you exactly what to do because if I did, everyone will copy it, which is not a bad thing until everyone starts doing it and then it doesn't work. I'm gonna give you concepts and strategies you can take, but make it your own. Model what I'm gonna tell you, but don't copy word for word any examples that may be given to you. Not because I'm afraid of people taking it from me. I share everything very openly on how we do things because I'm doing it first. And if someone else wants to copy it, that's cool, but they'll always be in the shadow. So don't copy, model. Cool, what everyone else is doing, do, some, do the opposite, do something different. Model strategies, model concepts, but don't copy things word for word. Cool? Three things, grab a notepad and let's write these down. Number one, this is gonna be very obvious, but hear me out. Niche down or narrow in on your target market. Why I say this is, here's an example, is let's say you are an empowerment coach. You empower people to live their best life and you're really good at it. You have this, this, this gift of just talking to someone for 10 minutes and they feel empowered. 
to do anything they want. Let's just say, just for fun, insert your own superpower. If we go after everyone, I can almost guarantee you that there are hundreds of coaches that are way better at you than you at it. They were there first, they have a bigger audience, they have more of a marketing budget, they will destroy you unless you stick with it for the next 20, 25 years, which is a very long time to stick to something. If you want quicker results, let's separate. Maybe one idea is men and women. Are you a female, a woman's empowerment coach, or a male's empowerment coach? Maybe you'd like to separate. Just an example here. Now we dive deeper, so let's just say you're female empowerment. You empower women. Beautiful. I can guarantee you that there are hundreds of coaches that came before you that have a way bigger audience, bigger market share, more advertising dollar. They're there first and you will always just be in the shadow. Let's go a little bit deeper. I'm talking four, five, six, seven steps deeper into who you serve. Knowing your clients like the back of your hand, knowing their problems, knowing their pains. Now, this is the beautiful thing that happens is as you keep narrowing in on your audience or on your target market or on your client avatar or who you want to serve, you slowly start positioning as the first or the best or both. You may not be the best in the world yet. That's okay but you're the best for that specific client, their specific problems, where they're at in life, the specific solution you provide, which we'll talk about. And now you start working your way into, oh, this is an expert, you're an expert. You're the first, you're the best for them with your skill set and what you do, you can become the best and you can literally stake your claim to, I am the best at this because, and you can back it up of why you're the best. And now your target market or your perfect client sees all these other messages from people who are maybe first or better than you in, in, in a wider sense of the word. I mean, if someone's doing this 30 years, they're gonna be better at it, that's okay. But you're starting very small, very narrowed in, very specific on your target market. You are the best for them. Your message, your story, your brand, your program, which we'll be talking about, will get their attention before anyone else's does. Hence, you will be first in their mind. You'll be the best in their mind. Now, as you grow over the years, you'll expand and eventually you will conquer the world. You will be the best in the world and you'll be on sold out stages on empowerment in general, but we gotta start small if you don't wanna wait 25 years to get a result. If you want a result in the next few months, narrow, 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 speak specifically to one person, a very target, targeted group of people you wanna go after with a very specific message, and you'll win the game. That's how you be the best. Number two, and the first. Number two, inject you into the brand. Your story matters. A lot of coaches, whether it's low self-esteem, low self-worth, two kind of different things, but we'll just clump them together. Um, low self-esteem or a low um, view of how we see ourselves or we think our story is not important or what we have to say is not important, that massively affects your message and how you stand out. You will blend it. If you know you have something important to say, if you share your story, if you show up authentically as yourself, both the light and the shadows, the darkness, the good and the bad, and you share it to, and this builds on the first one, to your target market, a very specific person, specific problems, specific needs, then out of that target market, there will be a few who connect with you. There will be no other option for a coach but you. If you can get that specific and share your story, your triumphs and your failures, the light and the darkness, share who you are, you will attract your perfect clients, you will be seen as the best, the first, the expert, and the only one they wanna work with. You are now no longer competing on price. You can charge what you're worth at that point. The price shoppers will go to someone who's cheaper and probably get a lesser of a result. That's cool. You're not looking for those. You're looking for people who connect with you. They see your worth, they see your value, they hear your story, they connect with you. They see you as the expert. They've been looking for you, whether they knew it or not, their whole life. And now they get to talk to you and they'll pay you what you're worth. I'm always looking for a win-win. That is the best win-win scenario, but it starts with courage. We got one more here, but it starts with courage to step forward, to stand out, 
to believe in yourself. There'll be times where you don't. That's okay. You feel the fear and you do it anyways. You're terrified, but you step into it. Beautiful. Now you share your story. You show up as you, your light, your darkness, your goods, your bad, your triumphs, your victories, your losses, your failures, and you connect on a deep level with your perfect clients. You are well on your way to differentiating yourself. There are like 30 things, you know, there's books on this. There's like 30 or 40 ways to differentiate yourself and your company. These three, if you can do these, you're, you've won the game. Everything else is just extra sparkles. Number three, I'll add one more word because you'll hear me say it a lot, but share your truth. What is your truth? If there are some values or some things you believe in, and you've investigated those beliefs and you've seen that they are true for you and they better your life, share them. Again, it takes courage. There will be people who don't agree with you. I remember doing one post about religion versus spirituality and how I choose to be a spiritual be being and I've let go of religion. I grew up very religious and I had people attacking me. Why are you talking about religion on a coaching forum? And I'm like, this is important to me. I let religious dogma, I have nothing against religion by the way, dictate a lot of my core beliefs. Original sin, thinking I'm bad, having to confess my sins to somebody because I'm not good enough. Those things did not serve me. When I let go of religion, I embraced spirituality, my life changed, so I share that. Now you as a listener, you know, you may not agree. That's awesome. Nothing, and I, and I love religion. But don't be afraid to share it. The things you believe, because it will connect with some and it will, it, it, it may create friction with others and that's okay. That's not why we do it, but you've got to be, have the courage to share what you believe in. Number three, your offer or your coaching program. They're kind of the same thing in a way. We'll make them the same thing for simplicity's sake, but your offer, what it is you offer and your coaching program. Now, why they can... Um, why, why they can be a little bit different is your offer, you may have multiple offers solving a specific thing and that doesn't have to be a coaching program. But I wanna talk specifically about a coaching program. Let's say you have a coaching program, it's a one-on-one -on -one or a group program or whatever it is that you've created or maybe a course, but you've got something that will help others. This is where standing out, doing things a little bit differently will tie the knot, will take things home. So you've narrowed in, you're talking to a specific person, you've got a specific message, specific problem you solve, and it's connecting with them because you're sharing your story, you're going deep, your triumphs, your losses, you're sharing who you are, you're sharing your truth, your core values, and that's on the page. If you're selling your program, remember, you are selling you and a result, not the program. So let's not focus on the program. Let's sell you, your story, why you're the expert, why the, you're the authority. That's the first chunk of your offer. Then you share the result you get, and now you can take things home. This is where, you know, and I'll give you some examples of what we do, but this is where you can have some fun with it. We have a stay until you get paid guarantee. I don't think anyone else in our space does that. It backs up, most programs are two to three months. When you work with us, it's a stay until you get paid. You pay once, we work with you until you get a result, as long as you're committed. You stay in the community, join the calls, and it's one way of us expressing our commitment to our clients, and now it's on the client to meet us halfway or 100% of the way and get the result, and we'll work with them until then. It's different, it stands out. We've got a 10K guarantee. We work with you until you make 10K in sales. We have some clients who hit it in six to eight weeks, some it takes a few months, some it takes six months. You will make 10K, we'll work with you until you do. Hey, that's really different. It takes courage to put that out there, but we stand behind it. Uh, so look at your guarantees. Look at the bonuses that you offer. If you, we create courses and sell them, but to any clients, we give the courses to them as they come out for life. In 10 years, if I have a course coming out on money mindset mastery or copywriting mastery or, or program design, they're gonna get access to it if they want it. It's a little bit different, that's pretty cool. That creates, well, more lifetime value, not just money-wise, but it, it keeps delivering for our clients and our customers. So in the future, when they need help, we're their only choice. How can you apply these models, these concepts, or these strategies into your business? Don't copy, not that I'm afraid of you taking my idea, but how can you apply it to make you stand out, make you different, model it, don't copy it.
Look at other examples online. Look at what your competitors are doing. How can you do things different? What can you add? What special sauce can you add that maybe they're not adding? And just by applying these three things, you will differentiate yourself. You will stand out, you will attract attention, and you'll be able to charge what you're actually worth versus people price shopping. Truly hope this helps. If you have not subscribed or left a review yet, make sure you do. We give away $500 every single month to subscribers, to listeners, to viewers, to watchers, but you have to subscribe and you gotta leave a review or a comment because we take those and we apply them. So once you do it once, you're applied for life. The more you do it, the more we notice your comments or the more entries you'll have. So it's in your best interest to do it. Now don't do it just to win. If this episode was of actual value, if this actually helped you, make sure you do. And if you have any questions, check out askrubix.com. We are taking over Google with askrubix.com. Google will threaten and buy us out soon. Half kidding, but ask Rubix any questions you have about your online coaching business, whether it's internal or external, you can find the answers at askrubix.com. And if you're interested in working with us or learning more about the 10K guarantee or the stay until you get paid guarantee or the um, the lifetime access to the programs and the bonuses and all future courses, then check out lucasrubix.com forward slash coaches or forward slash university. I will leave the link around here somewhere, but the Coaches University is the Stay Until You Get Paid coaching program. As far as I know, we're the only ones doing it. That way we work with you until you get a result. So check that out, lucasrubix.com forward slash university. I'll leave the link around here somewhere. Truly hope you enjoyed, truly hope this was of value to you, and I'll see you next week. So I don't know when this whole get a job, nine to five, play it safe, think small, and hopefully someday retire with enough time to maybe chase my dreams became okay, but for people like you and me, it's not. I'm Lucas Rubix, and welcome to The Coaching Channel, where I continue my mission of setting human beings free.